What was was that your beard in the movie? Mm -hmm. It was an amazing beard, <laughs> really impressive beard. I don't, I don't know. I, I always it always makes me laugh. On my way to uh, work the first day, I said to my now 15 year old, I said, "Oh, I'm off to play Blackbeard," and he said, oh, "Dad, I think it's more like black and white beard." <laughs> and when I got there, I didn't realize they color it with this thing called Just for Men, which is like a quite cheap thing that men put through their hair. I think you know. I was like, oh. Well, big Hollywood movie, that's what we use. There you go, go figure. For Halloween. Yes. <laughs> Did it take a lot of effort though, trimming and... It keep... took a little bit of growing. Yeah. I, I had to know in advance. And yes, a lot of trimming because you see Blackbeard, not his teeth, but everything else is perfect. His costume, he wears wigs and different wig every day. He loves to be the center of attention and to be a big show off. So yes, everything was very exact. I heard there was a lot of music playing on set. All the time. Did you have a favorite song? Yeah, Joe used to play De Antford, which I really used to make me laugh because we're on a set with a whole lot of kids. And all of a sudden, you know, do you know the South African band, De Antford? They're kind of an underground sort of electronic punk band. And they have this song, I think you're freaky and I like you a lot. And <laughs> all these kids would be dancing to it. I love that. Did you take anything from set? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Yes, I took a, pe a, a pack of playing cards. That's my, pack. yeah, but it's weird. It sounds like normal, but on my playing cards, 52 cards, were the actual pictures of all of my pirates. And so we had 15 main actors and then a whole bunch of extras, but all my pirates are there in that pack of cards. And would they make it specially for you? Or? No, they made it for the set. And it amazed me, you know, I'm like, it's on a table in, a, in my cabin. You never see, you actually do not ever see it. And I'm in between takes, I'm like, look at the effort and detail. I'm like, <laughs> at the end of the scene, don't worry. Were there a lot of details like those? Oh, so many details. I mean, I, there's gonna be a drinking game invented at some point. If you can spot all the places where Blackbeard's face appears, because he's very egocentric. So the front of his ship, uh, his sword, the gun, his own cannon, the bedpost. There's so many places where his own face appears and his own portrait. So see if you can spot those. I want to play a little game with you. It's a quick game of would you rather. Mm, good. So would you rather be a pirate or a kid forever? Kid forever. Yes. Would you rather fly or never grow old? Fly. Would you rather live on a boat or in a tent? Boat. In a boat, nice. Would you rather fall in love with a fairy or not at all? Fall in love with a fairy. Would you rather stay in Neverland or go home? Stay in Neverland. <laughs> uh, why would you, what would you do if you could actually fly? What would be the first thing you would do? I'd skip all the airport security lines. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? See ya. Um, I once, parachuted off a mountain. It was like a, I was with someone else strapped in like a, in tandem. It was 7,000 feet high and we drifted for like 40 minutes down this mountain, 40 minutes in the air it took, and we landed on the beach and over the water. And for me, whenever I think of flying, that's what I think of, somehow over the water and, and the beach. And I heard that the, uh, the boat that you used was actually like real size. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm looking at this. All of this was, was built. Uh, there were no cabins downstairs and beds, unfortunately. No, I slept somewhere else, but um, it was real. Like the cannons actually, you know, recoiled and, and everything. The, the sails and the barrels, it was, it was all real. And there were three of them. And tell me about the bonding experience. I heard you did a lot of bonding before the movie. Joe really likes to create an atmosphere where it's not like, oh, there's a very important actor and there's a not so important actor. He knows the truth, which is no matter how big the part, everyone supports each other. And when you have that genuine feeling of teamwork and camaraderie, that's what elevates you to a higher level. And, you know, the best movies are the sum of its parts, you know? and not just sort of one person or one individual thing. So he created that and it was, we did pirate boot camp for a week. We did lots of stuff together, it was great.